I had an aunt and we were driving up 19th Avenue. I remember looking at those houses and I remember saying to her, oh, you know, they're so pretty. And she said to me, oh, those houses are so expensive. That's not for us. But now I'm the supervisor for that district. <laughs> My name is Mirna Melgar. I'm the District 7 Supervisor for the City and County of San Francisco, which is located in the southwestern part of the city. Representation is important so that people can even think, oh, I can get there. I, I can be that. Being a leader for San Francisco is such an honor for me and such a privilege. I grew up in El Salvador during a time of war. The city actually was a refuge for my family. We landed in a little studio apartment off Mission Street. It had a big walk-in closet and my sisters and I slept in the closet. For 150 years, people have come to San Francisco looking for freedom, looking for tolerance. I do see my job as being, you know, in a leadership position so that we can carry that forward. The challenges that I faced when I became supervisor were more around microaggressions, you know, these little power tricks to, um, you know, talk over people or to invalidate what someone is saying. One of my colleagues really made my life difficult. I thought for Women's History Month, we could have volunteers listen to us and clocked how many minutes men spoke versus women. It was published in the newspaper. There was a lot of conversation about it in San Francisco. For my female colleagues, it validated something that we've all been feeling but had never quantified. But for the guys, it was also like a, you know, a self-check since that was published and we had this conversation. Things have gotten better. We are facing really deep issues and problems in our country. We're dealing with climate change. We're dealing with the way we police, the way we educate, the way we house. We need our best minds, our best experiences on to solve these problems. My message to a young woman of color is that you have incredible assets and experiences that we need in politics today.